Oh, hello carpers, welcome back to my channel. As you know, people that have been following my vlogs, you would have seen that I joined the carp reserve back in May. I've done seven nights and I blanked. Um, after that, I've been various other places like Coking Farm, Todman Manor, Cyphered Lakes, and I've not been managed to get back down there. Well, we have come back down. We we're on for 72 hours. New tactics, new bait, um, going with a whole different approach. Um, I've got a bit more knowledge on the place now after speaking to a few people. We're going to go in a totally different swim than we usually do. But yeah, stay tuned, guys. I've got plenty to talk about. Hobo Armour. Talk about that later. Also, we've got another little product review to do from uh, Sunblesser. So keep an eye out for that and stay tuned. All right, well, it's about six o'clock now. I've got to get my rods out. And uh, I've also got to retrieve a boat because uh, someone's not tied it up properly and it's out in the middle of the lake. So it's too deep to wade out, so I've just had a look. So I'm gonna have to stick a big lead on and try and get it that way. So yeah, stay tuned guys, we'll see you soon. Good evening carpers, my rods are out, um, it's a new spot I'm on, um, yeah as I said before I'm trying new spot, new tactics, new bait, See, I'm in a swim called the way bar, I'll show you why a bit later on or for tomorrow, but yeah it's took me a time to, I ended up retrieving the boat, um, as I was bringing the boat in, um, obviously went out and found some spots, found three nice spots. Uh, got one just out there, another one just over there to my left, and this right hand one. Couldn't really find a, a fairly decent spot, so I just chucked it down the margin, and it's uh, it's nice, it's you know, a nice hard drop on it. But yeah, um, light's going to start fading now, so I won't be showing you my rigs and everything. But, so I just see a little bit of movement over my left rod. Yeah, there's a few people on. It's nice to be back. It is absolutely lovely to be back, but I've had so many other trips booked, you know, with, with friends and Lee Boy, uh, the other YouTuber. Oops, sorry. Um, if there was someone walking behind me, yeah, it's been nice to actually get back here. Like I said, uh, I'm on a seven night blank, so everything that I've done before hasn't worked. So we've gone for something different. Um, you all know that I've been using me nuts and whites, and that's obviously uh, a bird bird feed. Bird seed boily. So yeah, we've gone over to a fish meal now, the old Asbo. Um, it's been catching loads and loads of fish up and down the country, some really big fish as well. So yeah, we're going to give that a go. Probably go, this is going to be me for the night unless I catch a fish. But yeah, got plenty to talk about tomorrow and show you. But I'm going to sign off. Tight lines everyone, stay safe. Well, good morning carbers. Nothing to report. Uh, another blank last night and this morning. But it's not over yet. If it's anything to go by the last few sessions, well this is to be expected. Yeah, this is my swim. There you go, this is why this is called the way bar, hence the little way bar. Yeah, this is my swim, not a lot of room with this uh, two man bivy in. Got, got the old boat in the swimlet, the old rods. 
as I said before, got one just there, nice little gravel spot I found, nice little hard spot down there, so I'm trying to keep quiet, and yeah this one is going out to there, lovely little um, hard spot there, I think someone else on the lake's had a 27 out, so well done to him. So yeah, carpers, let's get back in this bivvy. Um, let me pause this. So yes, carpers, yeah, I'm back in the bivvy now. And what a stunning little little peg this is. Got quite a lot of water. I mean, you've got some islands coming, you know, some channels coming in there, there. You've got the old channel coming in there, another channel there, and another channel there. So there's loads and loads to go at. So yes guys, many of you that have been watching my videos from the beginning would have known that I left Viper Tackle back in uh, February as I wasn't happy with their tackle. Nothing wrong with the, the people there, absolutely wicked, absolutely loves being there as, as a member but it's just a tackle. But I always vowed that I would never join another tackle company again unless it was one of the big ones obviously for reasons being that it hampered my fishing. Well, I've been following Hobo Armour for quite a while now. Um, seen quite a few other people um, join up with them and then I've got really, really good feedback from them. So, decided to uh, approach them. They kindly offered me a place as a team member. Um, yeah, got my old uh, starter kit sent through. And yeah, um, I must say, I am really, really impressed with the quality of the tackle. And yeah, I'm, I'm, well, this is my first time out on it, so we will see. But uh, I'll go, f I'll run through a little bit later, all the uh, stuff that they do and that. Now I know someone that was in this swim uh, last weekend I think he had four fish out so let's hope we can get some fish out we need to break the curse this uh, carp reserve uh, I don't know why it's I'm cursed so much because I seem to be catching elsewhere um, I've broke the curse of my new rods some reels so hopefully this session we are gonna see a carp reserve fish um, they are coming out um, as I said before, I'm using a totally different bait now. I've gone, gone over to a fish mill, uh, also gone up in size to an 18 mil uh, on the 18 mil ASBO. So yeah, let's see what happens. Right, stay safe, tight lines everybody. See you later. Good mid-morning carvers. Pulled all my rods in now. Uh, they've been out since six seven eight o'clock last night uh, brought them back in um, where it's quite windy there's it's been a lot of weed blowing on it so glad I brought them in really but I just wanted to talk to you about the rigs I'm using you all know that I use the combi rig and on my last session um, we had a couple of cutoffs didn't we from the braided section well this is all hobo armor We've got the old, uh, what is it? 25 pound armor weed. Armor weave, sorry. Yeah, 25 pound armor weave. And I must say, it's, it's uncoated. It's, it's quite supple, but it's really thick. Feels really, really strong. Uh, really impressed with that. The old boob section is, where's it gone? And the boom section is this, it's quite a thick, 25 pound arm cord, armour chod, sorry. It's really thick and I found and I've heard from other people that you don't need to steam it. You just put it in your rig tools and hold it there for a couple of seconds, it stays straight. So yeah. Using the old size 6 curved shank micro barb hooks, uh, anti-tangle sleeve, 
Oh no, them M hooks. Size four, sorry. Curved shank hooks. They sent me a good selection of stuff here, look. There's, there's loads of stuff in here. Swivels and hooks and anti-tangle sleeves. Uh, finished off with a bit of Homo Arbor tungsten putty. Really good stuff. There we go. Stick it is anything. So yeah, this is what I've been putting out on all three rods last night. And I'm going to put out the same tonight. Not had any fish, not seen any fish in the area. Uh, we've got another 48 hours to go. Uh, I just went, I, once I reeled all my rods in, uh, I went out there and checked the spots. So, and there is a little bit of bait left. But that, that right hand rod that I put down the margin, I went out in the boat and I, I went over to the far island to the right of me and I found a nice, a nice gravel spot right, right on the curve of it. So I'm going to stick a little bait on there. Uh, for tonight, if nothing happens tonight, then I'm going to totally change tactics and I'm going to go for uh, like a helicopter setup or maybe a chod and probably fish in some silt or some or some weed, you know, just to try something a little bit different because everything I'm trying so far isn't working. I'm still going to stick to the Asbo bait and I've also got some pandemic wafters to stick on top, you know, just so it sits on top of the weed if that happens. Yeah, it's not all dome and gloom. Another thing, I don't know if you've noticed, this is what I was talking about from Sun Blesser, is the old baby tray. It's even got a little, little magnetic thing, look. Magnetic strip along there. You've got your ruler along there. And yeah, it, it stops films from coming off, falling off, and you can you know, once you, you can have everything on there you like, instead of having your tackle box on your on your, you know, your lap, um, you can literally put everything you want on there. And yeah, you can you know put it there, put it under your bed, all sorts or whatsoever. But these come in two. I'll show you the other one later. Um, you've got this one, the green one, with a ruler on and a magnetic strip. And you've also got another one, um, which is camo on the back. I'm not sure that one's magnetic, but for a full review, keep keep an eye on my videos, hit that subscribe and notification button, and I will do, be doing a proper review of them both, and you will be able to see what they're like. Uh, not sure on prices in the minutes, I'm not sure they're out yet. But yeah, Gavin from Sun Blesser asked me a couple of months ago about these, and you know, would, would there be a market for them? And I said, yeah, yeah, there would, because you know, you know. If nothing falls off the side, you can put everything in there you want, and literally that magnetic strip, you, can, you know, put your scissors on there, and nothing falls off. You know, it's easy storage; it doesn't take any space in your bag whatsoever because you can put it at your bottom, put stuff over the top of it, or put stuff in your bag and lay this over the top, and it just molds round. Um, yeah, it's worth it. It's hard wearing, non-slip. Uh, nothing really slides on it, obviously my lighter, but nothing really slides. But yeah, keep an eye out guys. Yeah, I'm not going to put my rods back out yet. I'm just going to let the spots do what they want to do, you know. Uh, have a little free feed if there's any fish about. Um, come 5 o'clock tonight, which is what, a couple of hours time, I'll put the rods back out. So yeah, overall, Hoberama, really impressed with it. Sun blesser, sun blesser, baby tray. Really impressed with that. See you later, guys. Tight lines. Stunning views we have. I don't mind blanking when we've got views like this. Got me rods back out. But I know when I do catch a fish out of here, it's going to be stunning. 
There's a lot of fish in here. This is going to beat my 32 pound. Some big plated, some nice levers. There's some half lins, some linears in here. I was going to fish this peg. I'll come over during the week, put a bit of bait out on a few free spots. But as you can see, this weed is a nightmare. Um, on my rods, I'll take you back around there now. As you can see in this peg, there's not a lot of weed, so I decided to come in here. It's a beautiful peg. My left hand one, I uh, put it out, and I noticed it looked like it had rolled off the spot, so I brought it in and um, I had to put a heavier lead on there. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's moved now. Stunning views. Good morning carpers. Nothing to report, unfortunately, but my luck on here, we knew that was going to happen anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, um, this wind's been relentless. Um, I think it's been moving, moving my leads. Yesterday I put some heavier leads on, but I still think they were moved, being moved. So I bought one of my rods in just to see if it was on the gravel still, and it, it moved into a big ball of weed. So I've changed them leads for some big five ounce gripper leads. Um, and yeah, um, bought them in, just went over my baits, my spots to have a look at, see if there's any bait left. And yeah, all my baits there. So I know there's been no carp come through and munch on my bait yet. So yeah, we've gone over to, I've put some wicked white wafters out now, just for a bit of, bit of color, bit of attraction. So yeah, we will see. Um, I've, yeah, I've put these out on some bigger leads and I know they probably ain't going to move now. Uh, gripper leads. So I'll probably, I'm quite confident they're going to stay there. So I'll probably leave them out till tomorrow if nothing happens now. Uh, topped it up with a bit of monster particle. Um, I've been putting it out anyway, but I haven't mentioned it. Um, I think this monster particle is up like tier one or something. Don't think there's any. There's no tiger nuts or anything in there. I got it sent through free, so I, I don't know what it was. It won't. It won't marked up what it was, but I've been chucking that out. But um, yeah, I literally probably put a kilo on each spot. Let's see what happens. It's quite annoying because you've got a lot of lot of surface weed coming through over the top and it's sort of it's hitting your line. I mean I've got my rods quite high so I can you know there's no you know the current is not you know moving the lead or anything. So I've got them a bit higher now. But like I said there is a bit of surface weed that's hitting the line and you know giving me giving me false indication. But it's lovely to be here. Let's turn this camera around. Yeah look stunning lake. I'm going to sign off now, tight lines everyone, stay safe.
Good afternoon, carpers. Just been out in the boat because I was uh, contemplating a move. So yeah, went out in the boat to look around the other side of the lake to see if we saw any fish. Because uh, as you can see, the old wind's hacking through here. So I thought I'd dip around the corner where the you know there's no wind and I didn't see no fish really. Um, as I was coming back through, I did see a fish coming from my direction. So, I think we'll stay here for the night, for the last night. Also, I said earlier about uh, my rigs kept getting moved because of the um, the wind. So I put on some 5 ounce gripper leads. And yeah, I went over my spots to see if my rigs are still there. And they are. So I'm happy with that. Ah, blanking again. But when we do catch a fish, we know it's going to be a nice one. And it's worth the wait. That's why they call it fishing and not catching. Be a bit boring if we caught fish all the time. And I like this lake because it's a bit of a challenge. Be more rewarding. When you catch that first fish, you know, you, you've put a lot of effort in. See you later, Carpers. Good evening, Carpers. We're going into the last evening now. Traps are all set. What a beautiful evening we've got. The wind's died down a little bit more. The sun's just gone in. Well, behind that cloud. And if we don't catch anything this time, it's going to make me more determined for next time. And each time I come down and blank, each time I'm learning something new. Uh, like I said, it's a new lake to me. It is a hard lake for me anyway. Let's see what tonight brings. Well, good morning, carpers. What a beautiful morning it is. Unfortunately, I've got nothing to report. Only kidding. All right, I'm going to get this out on my ex. It's been sat in there for an hour. Speak to you soon. Well, good morning, carpers. Been waiting nine nights of blanking. And finally, on the last night, my tenth night, I'll finally go and catch one. This beautiful, dark mirror. 22 and a half pounds. Taken on that right hand little island on a single wicked white wafter. Stunning. Show the other side. <sighs> Finally broken the curse. Get this baby back. Hope to grab another one. Hello, carpers. Welcome back. It's that time again where we have to slay sadly pack up. Um, everything's packed up. But what a session we've had. Uh, rewarding in the end. Done three nights. It's been a grueling three nights. You know, I've had loads of trouble with the wind and everything, but we got there in the end. We finally broke, on my 10th night, we finally broke that curse. Absolutely buzzing. Remember to like and follow on Jedi Carver on Facebook and Instagram. And remember to like, subscribe and share this channel. Let's get this up to a thousand subscribers. Not sure when I'm going to be back. Uh, hopefully in about two weeks time. But on October the 2nd, we are on a Monster Particle Social on the Manor Farm in Linear Complex. They rented out the whole lake for 48 hours, or oh, maybe about 50, 
56 hours without making the funny noise. And yes, four weeks after that, we're on a mad bait social. And that's where we're going up to Norton Disney because they've hired that complex out. So absolutely buzzing to go on them two socials. Still yet to catch a PB this year, but it's not over. There's plenty of fish in here for me to do my PB. And we've broken the curse now. First time out on Hobo Armour. Done me well. Right guys, tight lines, stay safe.